<laughs> Welcome to the Tim and Jerry Show. It's off the record where we discuss all the most controversial political topics that we can't talk about publicly. But the first 10 minutes of this show will be public just to promote the Guild stream. If you want the full show, go to patreon.com slash meaning of Catholic, or you can donate meaning of Catholic.com slash donate. Or if you can't afford it, as always, just contact me and we can give you free membership. Meaningofcatholic.com slash contact. So we are talking with our Politico correspondent for Meaning of Catholic. It's Jeremiah Thaddeus Bannister. I just realized we're live right now. <laughs> <laughs> My headphones are down there, man. He's such I'm a like, politi- he's such a politico yeah. that he's yeah. just I'm like super, so I'm, I'm mega pro right now, dude. I'm like pro through the roof. Mega pro. Yeah, mega yeah, pro. Welcome to... Hyper um, Uber Ultra Pro. <laughs> Hyper Uber, yeah. One, Hyper welcome Uber to, Ultra um, Pro. <laughs> one, of yeah, our newest, do, yeah. one of our newest guild members, Militant Teresa Benedictus. Dictist. Um, wanted to shout out this uh, brother here because I'm really excited to talk more with him because I'm, I'm a great fan of St. Benedicta Acruce. Uh, Saint Benedicta, blessed by the cross, literally. I uh, love her, wonderful modern saint, uh, an Augustinian phenomenologist who attempted to synthesize Husserl with Thomas later in life and died a glorious martyr's death at Auschwitz. Saint Teresa Benedicta of the cross, pray for us. Uh, John Albinus, what's up, brother? Uh, John says. Paleocrat, I loved you holding your own against AF on Spexo's stream. Hey, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the, what that was. What, what that, that's, on that's the stream. only that's the only reaction video I've ever done where I talked about it because I talked about it on the on the channel. I and I, I've debated even keeping it up, but I was invited onto uh, Spexo his stream, and I I don't have anything negative to say about either him or pine sap as guys i think we actually have an enormous amount of things in common they they really appreciate especially my work on apologetics and so i'm i'm really grateful for that and we and i really appreciate that they confront even though we don't have the same exact views on issues like race and things like that that they confront the the trend especially on telegram of white nationalism in the weird fusion that you see now in a lot of trad circles between white nationalism and uh, and um, uh, traditional Catholicism, because you'll see it, yeah. especially on, especially on Telegram. So, man, you know, my headphones are terrible. Um, but the thing is, is that um, I go over to the show and they, we were we, I said I had some disagreements with America first. Right. With Nick Fuentes. And they they wanted me on. And I think that they were thinking that I, I was just like we had small things and that I would ask questions and that they would respond. <laughs> I'm like, bro, guys, for one, I'm like both you guys' age combined. Number two, I've been doing politics for as long as you've been born. <laughs> so I'm like, I have some I have some pretty deeply rooted positions on this. I went to school for it more than anything else, right? Journalism and politics. Those two things I actually went to school for to get my, my degree in my alma mater. And so um, it's something that I, I take a lot of interest in. Well, let's suffice it to say that the debate got, got kind of hot <laughs> it, and it got so hot that, w- that we're no longer part of each other's groups anymore. Yeah. Um, now it's okay. It's actually better. Now, right? all of this you're saying yeah. is going to be public. Just so you know, you, you're it's okay all... with this public comment you're making right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. because the debate happened publicly, right? Okay. Right. right. And, and I'm just saying, and, but let me emphasize again, these guys, are to me um they are they're dudes who are genuinely trying their best and i think let me just say about pine sap i think pine sap has some of the greatest material out there like his investigations and research into the ideas that i subscribe to more in particular than tim regarding uh the pope right regarding the authority of the pope he would be one of the people that would get mocked as the hyper uber ultra mountainous guy, <laughs> he would be one of those, even though he's, he on other issues is more like Tim than me. Right. And so I, I have a lot of respect for him um, in that, but we definitely disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, excellent. Um, 
so the the midterm results are basically let's see the house was taken by taken red the the senate is blue um various uh, the, I mean, the biggest news really is these 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 um, the enshrining of child sacrifice and child murder in various states, including our own Michigan. So we'll talk about that. Um, and uh, people were predicting a red wave. It was kind of a red ripple. Um, yeah. The other crap. It's, it's, what's your, a, a what's your red political mud. reaction? What's your political reaction as, as yeah. we close out the public portion of this show? Um, well, for one, it drives me nuts when people do the, the predicting game. I, I understand why people do it, but it's, it really is an armchair, like political move to do right. Like whenever people talk, for example, about, well, this seems like it's trending right now, or th this has momentum. That's like the political catchphrase, right. For people involved in campaigns, they say, oh, well, this, this idea has a lot of momentum right now. Um, kind of, I guess, you know, I mean. How would you determine this when people make these claims that it's going to be a red wave? Really, all they're doing is something based on history that says if you have somebody in who, let's say they're halfway through their term, the term is going really bad and as a president and it's going really bad and things are not looking too hot and the economy is doing bad. There are certain markers that historically give you an idea for whether or not a party will do good or not. And most of the time, this is actually why the Republicans are infighting right now, is because historically, at this point, you would have more of a shift in that right, left, red, blue, dialectic, poo-poo trash nonsense we talked about last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That in that <laughs> dialectic, uh, when that happens, they say, well, we're supposed to, in the dialectical swing swang of this, we're supposed to be further over on our side of things. And we didn't get as much of a percent as we figured we'd do. And you're like, the fact that you're even talking this way <laughs> shows there's actually a problem. Because yeah, it, yeah. Spoiler alert. I, I want to look up that that uh, image of, there's a great image where Uncle Sam is has um, puppet strings. And he's got the the Democrat, uh, like the do, two parties. Yeah. And he's and he's and he's de he's puppeteering them both. And it says fight amongst each other while I retain contr complete control. Uh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Both parties are entirely corrupt. Uh, they're totally controlled by money and the deep state. Uh, I mean, I vote Republican because it's the only it's the only party that's still sane, at least this much, because it, it at least on paper, did not, uh, on paper, it uh, condemns child murder, but not in yeah, reality. Yeah. They're just they're just, uh, you know, doing the same thing that Dems are just in slow motion. I mean, they're just Mark. Yeah. They're just right liberals is what they are. They're, they're, they're <laughs> yeah. right wing liberals. Yeah. And the Democrats, they're right wing Marxists and the Democrats are left wing Marxists. I mean, it's the same thing. People so, I mean, should, I, people should check out, man, the the series. I, I, I think all the episodes are on meaning of Catholic, I think. Um, and they are the, the nihilism series that I did. It goes through the the dialectic. The nihilist dialectic uh, that involves liberalism, uh, vitalism. You've got your realism mixed in there. You got so the different kinds of liberalism, right? Just the different faces of it, and and how on the one hand you have them where they genuinely disagree, they have genuine fights, they stay up at night plotting each other's doom, and yet at the same time, for some really crazy reason, it almost seems as though. They both at a really fundamental, primitive level, right? Really down elementary foundational level have the same ideas <laughs> and, and that no matter what they do, the dial, like Tim said, you're, it's really a matter of, are they going in slow motion? My, my dad, you're going in the same direction, one going faster than the other. My dad used to say, and I've always liked it and I'll, I'll stick with it forever. My dad used to joke around that. Uh, the Democrats are going over a cliff at 100 miles per hour and the Republicans are going, you know, 90. And every once in a while, they pump their brakes to assure you that's what they do. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a, what, that's that, what it that's is. a great way to say it, I think. Yeah, because uh, they pump the brakes and say, look, man, it is a clown car and we are going that direction. But we put up a good fight. <laughs> I, like, I mean, <laughs> what? Yeah, we're going to we're going to close the public portion with this comment from Pater Familias, who says our last legitimate election was 2016. Everything from here is a decay of the system established by the founders. 
American Mussolini is coming sooner than we think. With that, we'll close the public portion and then we'll talk about all the more controversial topics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All yeah. right.